The protests are spiral out of control. It seems as Nigerians have been waiting for this moment to vent their anger on the government. Every part of the country is currently protesting. Nigerians are on the streets and they are protesting against bad government. They want insecurity to end. They want hunger to end. They are not giving up. They are not relenting. Despite the presence of police, all those aboros that were threatening them, they are nowhere to be found. This woman here, she's in Abuja. She said her husband was killed by the bandit. She came out to protest so that they will put an end to banditry and all level of insecurity. She's protesting for the justice of her husband. She wants those behind this insecurity to be brought to book. This elderly woman joined the protest with an empty pot she brought from her home. She said she doesn't have food to eat. There is nowhere she can get food. She does not even have hope of the next me. She's protesting against hunger. Nigerians are on the street and they have the different reasons why they are protesting. This protest must be a success because we must put to an end all level of government rascality. We must fix this country. The network is so bad, guys. It seems that the network provider colluded with the government to frustrate us so the video quality will not be that much because i have to reduce the video quality before i can post them so enjoy the video
Kin ga ban ga mata da yawa ya ku sha aku ka fito wannan zanga zanga. The talk na sam. Don't say something. Why are you taking part in this uh, protest? Do you want to do it? The true Nigerians are peacemakers. The true Nigerians are men and women that desire to that the welfare of one another is taken care of. Like I was saying, I feel in Nigeria, before light goes off, the Nigerian Electric Power Authority will make an announcement on the radio that there will be light, the light will go off in five minutes, and in less than two minutes, light will be restored. I grew in Nigeria that students were going to school and were returning back home with allowances in their pocket to support their family. That was the Nigeria I grew up. I grew up in the Nigeria that I
the school. See them begging. They are begging. They are asking for food. For food. They don't have a house. I don't have a house. No, I stay. I came up, I came up on, on the beach. So I stay. So, this government is not a government for us. They should stay down. Okay, go. And my governance. Nigerian, you see anywhere Nigerian travels, you know this is in Nigeria. Nigerians are conquering the world. We can't be languishing in our nation. This is a country that produces great man. Yes, So I congratulate you as we give one another high five and say we are moving on. No retreat. No surrender. No retreat. Let me end with this statement. Some people said, well, this is a northern agenda. Some people said, well, it is a Fulani agenda. Well, I'm not carrying any Fulani and northern agenda. I am carrying out a Nigerian agenda. Yes, yes, right. By God's grace, I have spoken against the manipulation of a section of a people during the reign of one of the worst Nigerian presidents. 
the most evil Nigerian president. I call him by name. Buhari. I fought against that system. That's to tell you that I'm not carrying out any agenda. I am carrying out a Nigerian agenda. Yes,